Hello, welcome to Zoologist Mohsen YouTube channel. Today we shall understand contractile vacuole with the help of a working animation and then at an a live video. Wait for the end. Here is the schematic diagram of a contractile vacuole. You know that vacuoles are present in the cytoplasm and all its arms are surrounded by cytoplasmic fluids. The arms which are also called as collecting ducts are called as spongiomes while they are connected to a central large vacuole having the ability to contract and relax or refill. So what's the process? Basically the extra water from the cytoplasmic fluid enters into these spongiomes. The exact mechanism of entry of this water into the spongiomes is still unknown. You can do research on that. But basically, cells use ATP to extract water without solutes or without losing the solute concentration in the cytoplasm. Only water and this water is collected in the spongiomes. From spongiomes, this water then moves into the central large vacuole. When the central large vacuole is filled with this water, it contracts suddenly and uh, this vacuole is externally directly connected with a pore outside of the body through plasma lima or cell membrane. Although in some species there is no direct connection of the central vacuole to the outside but in most species of protozoans this central vacuole is directly connected with external environment through a pore from plasma lima or cell membrane. When it, is, it relaxes again, again the recycling or the cycle of this process repeats itself. If you are not clear still then let's have a look at this live video to clear your mind further. Here in the diagram in the video you can see a paramecium and uh, you can also observe many contractile vacuoles in the cell. They are working continuously. Here in this uh, uh, species you can see clearly that a contractile vacuole is working as we have described earlier. Wait, we shall zoom this contact, uh, uh, contactile vacuole for you and uh, you can understand further. These mechanisms are basically very useful and helpful for the protozoans living in the fresh water. Because fresh water uh, has a trend to enter into the body and uh, if the extra water in the body is not controlled, the cell may burst. So to survive, these contractile vacuoles are compulsory. Here is the zoomed image. Now you can see that the spongiomes collect water and they send this to this central vacuole and when this central vacuole suddenly contract, it expels extra water outside the body and again the cycle begins. So that's the working of contractile vacuole in protozoans. Hope you enjoyed the learning. Like and subscribe Zorgist Mohsen YouTube channel. Thank you.